So I did this hair mask yesterday and the second ingredient is Cetero alcohol. And then the fourth ingredient is Cetyl alcohol. A common piece of advice that I've heard before has always been to avoid products, conditioners with alcohol in them because it will dry your hair out. As always, the truth is found in chemistry. Let's get into it. Bill Nye the Science Guy. What's up guys, Trav White here. Welcome back to the channel where we cover hair and grooming from a science-based perspective. This video is sponsored by the subscribe button. It's red, it's beautiful, it's free, and it loves to be smashed. It also goes a really long way in helping this channel grow, so thank you guys for subscribing. Another thing really fast, guys, is if you've ever struggled with ingredients, with what products to pick, with what your hair type is, you don't know how to style your hair, you don't know what to do, this is why I created the Mannered Mains app. If you go into the App Store or the Google Play Store, you can download the app, you can take a hair type quiz, you can find out what your hair type is, you can connect with other men who have the same hair type as you, you can track your hair growth in a personal hair growth tracker, and then you can over time see all the progress you've made, you can try out different products, you can even see the ingredients of the products on the app and shop for those products as well. So guys, go download the Mannered Mains app, it's an amazing community and I would love to have you guys there. All right, let's move on. So alcohol, why would it be in your conditioner? Well, believe it or not, not all alcohol ingredients are bad. In fact, some are incredibly conditioning. And the simple answer is, is there's two main types of alcohol ingredients. There are short chain and long chain alcohols. The short chains are mostly the ones you want to avoid. And I say mostly want to avoid because they do serve a purpose and they can be okay in really small amounts. But here's a list of short chain alcohols to be on the lookout for. You have ethanol alcohol, ethyl alcohol, propanol alcohol, denatured alcohol, you'll probably see that as alcohol denat, isopropyl alcohol, isopropanol alcohol, and benzyl alcohol. Why would these short chain alcohols be in hair products? Well, the main purpose of these alcohols is they're usually used to help dissolve another ingredient. So for example, having a small amount of isopropyl alcohol can help dissolve the thicker cationic surfactants like behentramonium chloride, for example. And in really small percentages, like under 1%, they're typically safe and won't be on your hair long enough to dry it out. But since it's impossible to know by looking at the ingredients label just exactly how much percentage of product there is, it's hard to know. So as a rule of thumb, you might be better avoiding the short chain alcohols. Then you have the long chain fatty alcohols. So these alcohols have 12 more carbons per molecule, which makes them oilier or fattier, and they're incredibly moisturizing for your hair. They also function as amazing emulsifiers, which can help mix the water and oil products so the conditioner can spread easily throughout your hair. These molecules, however, are too large to penetrate the cuticle. So they serve as an occlusive, which helps seal the cuticle so it can lay flatter. So here's a list of fatty alcohols that are actually amazing conditioning agents that you do want in your conditioner. You have cetyl alcohol, cetero alcohol, sterile alcohol, and laurel alcohol, to name a few. These are great for all hair types, even curly hair types, and are incredibly safe to use in conditioners. So to recap really fast, the short chain alcohols are small enough to penetrate your cuticle, and they can dry out your hair in percentages higher than about 1% if they're left on your hair for a long period of time. But they are used to help dissolve those thicker ingredients that can't penetrate the cuticle and help those products be absorbed into there. They're mainly used to help products that are too thick to absorb, break down, and dissolve. However, too much of short chain alcohols in your product can definitely dry your hair out. And then you have long chain alcohols, which are much larger molecules that aren't absorbed in the cuticle, but are amazing emulsifiers for the product, amazing emollients for your hair, which add soften and add shine, and they're amazing occlusives. And they help to seal the cuticle so your cuticles lay flat all in the same direction. So they're both used for different reasons, but the long chains do not have a drying effect, are in fact quite the opposite and are really good for your conditioning ingredients. So next time you look at your conditioner or your hair mask or your leave-in conditioner and you see a cetero alcohol or sterile alcohol, there's no need to worry. It's actually making your hair super soft and shiny. This was a quick one today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.